It's day three and it looks like it's gonna be another rainy day. And the first thing you do in the morning is take care of your feet and prepare them for a long day of walking. My poncho is on and today I intend to walk for about 22, 23 kilometers and make it to Comillas. I'm starting my day three with this beautiful sunrise. Oh, look at this view. And I just had such an amazing first experience at an alberger. It was amazing. And I was told that actually so far, that was the best alberger that people have stayed at. Super clean, super nice. Uh, the bed cost 13 euro. And the dinner was 10 euro. In my last episode, I promised to tell you about the pilgrim blessing that we had at the albergue at 7 p.m. So this albergue is a social project started in 2016 and run by a group of nuns and volunteers. So at the blessing, which was optional, we were told the story of the place, then we shared our stories and introduced ourselves, and then we had a group prayer, which was absolutely beautiful. So we all had dinner at the table all together, shared stories, we had so much fun after dinner, and it's just incredible how people with all different backgrounds, all different stories, they come here um, to share something together. Everybody has their own purpose, everybody has their own goal. A lot of people, especially like young people, they come with the goal of self-search and find some answers, um, figure out what to do next in life, where to go, what's important in life and what's not, rebuild life, rebuild a new life, close some chapters. And there's also a lot of old people, which is surprising and amazing at the same time. I would say 60-70% are like older people who are retired and they're just, some of them they're doing one Camino after another Camino and it's incredible. Ah, it's, oh my gosh, this view. That is so gorgeous. Oh la la. And while you enjoy some beautiful sceneries from Spain, I would like to tell you my story. Why Camino and why now? So about five, six years ago, I read a book, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, written by Rachel Joyce in 2012. It's a story about a retired English salesman who lived a very ordinary life until he receives a letter from his old friend who was dying and who lived 450 miles away. And he decides to go see her, but he decides to walk and while he was walking, he knew that she would be waiting for him to get to her. During his pilgrimage, he discovers himself and he rethinks his whole life. And ever since I read that story, I was haunted by the idea of walking. Head into Camillas. That's where I'm going to sleep tonight. Five years later, it was finally the perfect timing for me. My kids were old enough to stay for a month without seeing me, and I just had a couple of failed relationships, so I figured that would be the perfect opportunity for me to rethink my choices and reconnect with myself. 
What is the sound? The cows are watching? The pilgrims are watching? Let's go see. everything on the Camino. It just surprises you all the way. Wonderful Camino. I finally get to the coast, which Camino del Norte is all about, but it's still raining. And while I was having lunch, less than an hour later, voila, the sun is out and life is beautiful. As much as I love rain, these views are much better mm. when it's sunny. And to continue on with my Camino story, I just want to add that I started walking the Camino just to be a little selfish and focus not on kids, not on my partner for once, but on myself. Listen to my feelings, listen to my gut and to my desires. And also challenge myself, step out of my comfort zone, which I never had trouble with, but this backpacking, solo travel, walking across Spain, that is next level. That is something different. It's truly an adventure, an amazing adventure of a lifetime. Twenty-three kilometers later, I finally get to my albergue, check in, take a shower, do my laundry, you know, the regular pilgrim evening rituals, and then head out to the town of Camiers for dinner. Another amazing day day number three today i walked for about 23 kilometers which is not that much but it's still challenging with a heavy bag i'm still not used to it i feel like i brought too much stuff oh, it's wrong way I'm trying to find my way back to the hostel after having dinner at a restaurant Ah, the hostel tonight is much wider than the one from yesterday. Yesterday was like a party, like a party crowd. And today is super tiny and quiet. I had company today for a good part of the walk. I was walking with a retired English teacher from England. He's living in Spain. Today we got to the coast. I finally saw the water which was amazing it also rained for the good part of the day it rained from the morning till about 1 p.m and then it was sunny in the evening it's quite chilly it's nice we're staying um, at a small town called Comillas I love the architecture in Spain I love the old little like these little houses decorated with flowers it's very nice i'm gonna make a collection of pictures of nice homes from spain tonight i'm going to bed quite early tomorrow i have 25 kilometers to walk and then the day after tomorrow 28. i guess you can see by the way i'm talking that I'm super tired today, but hey, there is another day tomorrow.